I've been getting kind of used to living life without you. I gotta tell you, it's better than I ever thought it could be. Hi, Henry. Rita, what are you doing in my house again? I thought I made it clear to you to stay away from me. Why are you so hot tempered? Can't I visit you anymore? I don't want you to visit me anymore because at the end of the day, you will talk about that child you are carrying. You shouldn't be scared of it now. Children are a gift from God. You should be happy you'll be a father soon. I would have been happy if the baby was mine. Stop bothering my life, please. I didn't commit a crime to love you. You sent a message that Dominic came visiting. Do you mind telling me what you both discussed? I cannot do that. It was a man-to-man -man discussion. You cannot be involved. If I cannot be involved, why then did you send the message to me? Because I thought it's your guy to know, since you are his fiance. Then I am telling you to tell me everything you both discussed, since he is my fiance. Rita, please go home. He might come back, and it won't be funny if he sees you here. Are you now scared of him? Besides, did he say he will come back? I don't know. Just leave me in peace, please. Let me get a glass of water. But that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that from you. Don't want to go back and forth when I know I deserve much more. My love, I got here before you. Good evening to you. Good evening, dear. When you called me, I was in the supermarket shopping for things we needed in the house. Okay. You told me you were close by. I ended up getting here before you. I was still in the house when I called you. What is it? You look moody. Are you sure you are okay? Or you need a little massage from me? I want to ask you a question, Annabelle. And please be very sincere with me. I will not take it if you lie to me. No problem, dear. After all, I have never lied to you. Apart from the day I took you to my parents, were you ever involved with my dad in the past? Can't you talk anymore? I asked you a question. What kind of relationship did you have with my dad? Why are you asking me that question all of a sudden? What is the problem, my love? Answer the question and answer it sincerely. I can see your parents already told you about it. I want to hear it from your mouth. Were you in a relationship with my dad to the point of planning marriage with him? Yes. This is the end of the road for us. I can never be with a woman that was in a sexual relationship with my dad. Felix, Felix, please come back. Let's talk. I gotta tell you it's better than I ever thought it could be I could say I miss you, but that would be untrue I know I'm being kind of mean, but I love Where is Felix? I haven't seen him ever since I came back from work He's in his room, he went straight to his room the moment he came back from wherever he went to did you try checking up on him? Yes, I did. I knocked on his door several times, but he refused to open up. I think there is something wrong. It should be because of Annabelle. He told me he was going to confront her in her house. Oh, okay. Now I see why he's acting that way. Let's give him a little space. When he's ready to talk, he'll come out from his room. I can't help but worry about him. I wish it was an entirely different girl. I wouldn't have hesitated to welcome her into this family. I know, my dear. You are not a wicked person. This is all on me. I caused my son this pain. He is suffering now. Don't blame yourself, Lawrence. The most important thing is that you realized your mistake on time and you corrected it. I love you both so much. You haven't still told me your conversation with the guy that impregnated Rita. There is no need for that. We didn't discuss much. You only kept saying he's not the father of the child. That's all. Dominic, my guy, why can't you leave all this and move on? Why can't you let go of this Rita and whoever got her pregnant? I have something to say to the person that impregnated her. That is why I'm waiting till Henry proves he's not the father. Then she will tell me who the father is. Now wow. Obviously, she's a cheat and a deceiver. All this while, I didn't know she was seeing someone else. Not just one, but two. How do you know they are two? Who knows they might even be more than that? Now you know why I am always adamant about having sex before marriage. Who knows they might even be more than that? Let's go have some bottles of drink. It's been a while we had fun. This is a big lesson to me. I will never change my mind until I get married. I am not interested in having fun. I just want to be here. In fact, I want to be left alone. You know it's of no use. Think about it. I don't want to drink, bro. I want to be at home. Ooh, be 
those were the exact words you said to me, Lucy. My heart is shattered and I feel like crying. But you are already crying. See, my friend, you don't have to worry or cry your eyes out like this. I am sure he didn't mean it what he said. Why do I have a feeling that he meant it? You should have seen his face, Lucy. Even before asking the question, I knew there was something wrong. But you, Seb, what were you thinking? You should have known the truth would come out one day. I didn't know it would come out, though. I thought Lawrence would never tell him because it might hurt Felix. Come on, you messed up big time. When you were looking for possibly means to let him stay away from you. So obviously, they had to use the thing they knew would work out. I feel so terrible. What do you advise I do now? You know you had upper hand. If you had told Felix before his parents did. But now everything is messed up. Are you sure it would have been a different thing if I had told him before them? I don't know Annabelle, but there is a possibility for that. Can you please go and beg Felix for me? I can't go there because he lives with his parents and he has refused to pick my calls. Just give me his address and I will go there. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy I love watching all the color rush back into my city Man, this is still a very big surprise for me. You are the last person I expected to see in my house. Here I am today. You are welcome. So what can I offer you? We have food and drinks in the fridge. Just tell me what you want. Oh no, don't bother yourself. I'm totally okay. How about your parents? I thought I would see them here. My dad took my mom out for shopping. They won't be back until evening. So what are you doing here? Oh, your family is such a lovely family. Your father still takes your mom out after many years of marriage. That was what I thought would be my weekly routine with Annabelle. I didn't know desperate self had other plans for me. Come on, Felix. You know you don't have to tag her as desperate. All she did was love you. And trust me, she loves you genuinely. The love is not enough. In fact, generally, love is not enough. I tagged her desperate because she was desperate to be with a married man that already has a child just because of money. She didn't know he is your father. If she had knew, or if she had known, I'm sure she would have stayed away from you earlier. And when she found out that he's my father, why did she still deny knowing them? Come on, Felix. She was just scared of losing you, that's all. You can't blame her for it. I know she is your friend, but you don't have to turn blind eye to the truth. See, Lucy, I am not interested in Annabelle anymore. Tell her to stay away from me. Maybe this is the right time for me to tell him how I feel now. No, this is not a good idea. He will see me as a desperate person too. Lucy, are you still here? Oh yes, I am. What did you say? I said you have to go now. And please inform her to stay away from me. I am no longer interested in marrying her. Alright, no problem. Hey girl, I came back pretty fast, right? Yes now. Why are you back so fast? You didn't see him at home or what? He was at home and we got to talk, only that he discarded me before I could convince his father. Don't tell me you couldn't get him to change his mind. I couldn't. He is very adamant about his decision. He told me to tell you that there is nothing in this world that will make him to forgive you. Wow, he said that to me. Yes, yeah, so you should have seen the way he reacted. He was very angry when he knew I was dead on your behalf. So what else would you be there if not because of me? I don't know for him or maybe he thought I was there to check on him or probably stay with him for a while. As what? Don't tell me Felix has eyes on you. I didn't say it was eyes on you. He wasn't just expecting me to be there to talk about you. And secondly, his parents were very lucky when they saw me. That Felix is playing with fire. He doesn't know who I am. No one has ever rejected me before. Well, there's always the first time to everything. I will not let him be the first. He should better forgive me or he will live to regret it. In a long run, I have actually come to like your kind of person. You are not what I thought you are. What kind of person did you think I was? A pompous and proud person. Especially when you came to see my neighbor. <laughs> Sorry about that. I knew that would piss anyone off. So I decided to do what would piss you off. It's okay. I'm not angry anymore. 
So the doctor called to tell me that Twitter was there to get the results yesterday. Really? Yes. Before the doctor carried on with the DNA test, I specifically told him not to give anyone the results unless I was there. Not even Rita was allowed to have access to that result. That's good. But why would she want to get the result when she's very sure she knows what she said about you? I don't know what she's trying to do, bro. And I don't know what she is hiding. So is the result ready now? I got it from the doctor a few hours ago. I sit on my ground that I am not responsible for her pregnancy. The test result is my proof. Can I see it? It is in my room. Let me get it. Heavy, cause I'm finally getting real sleep. I love watching all the color rush back into my cheek. I don't even know why I'm shocked. Right from the time, I had a hunch that Henry was saying the truth. Maybe you are shocked because you were secretly hoping Henry was the only man Rita had an affair with. I think so. Now it is evident she had an affair with more than one or even more than two men. So what do you intend to do now? Will you ask her about it? I'll ask her about it. I'll threaten her and make her tell me who is responsible for that pregnancy. It is even necessary. What will you do when you find out who the father is? Just allow the sleeping dog lie. I'll not allow any sleeping dog to lie. Rita and I were engaged to be married. So I have every right to know who she's pregnant for. I just feel all this is not necessary. She is not worth all this stress at all. What is really your problem? Why are you so against me finding out who the father is? I am not against you. I am just worried you might get hot again. I am already hot. My heart has been shattered already. So there is no need taking precaution anymore. Okay, do whatever you want.